Oh. And here he is, direct from some sort of dark dimension, Pumpkin Guy. No fixing things, hold on. Hello, tiny pumpkin friend and everyone. That's weird. Greetings, PG and John. Duh. We are here and doing things and stuff. Jim clap, Jim hey. coffee, sip, Jim pills, happy. I want that to be just right. Hold on. Really? Come on, bro. Uh, let's see. Give me one second. <laughs> I had to set up beforehand, but apparently not. All right. I guess we'll do that. Eh, fine. Whatever. Hold on. I got to check it on big screen. Go. Boom. Stream health. All right. That looks good. That looks good. All right. We're still doing this, chat. Yep. Mm, boom. Thank you, Phoenix Rivera. What's up? How's it going? Hey, no, nah, man. We had, we're we we're logging data. We are logging all the data. That's what we got to do, chat. That's it. So every, every stream from now on for the rest of my life is just going to be perpetual data charts. Yeah. No, nah, man, dude. For those who don't know about the internet thing going on, dude, we've been having like crazy internet issues. Like insane internet issues. The constant buffering, drop frames, not our fault, all right? Because our equipment's new, the lines are new, all that's new. There's something out there. Something out there trying to stop us. Go. 33 moons. Moons, what's up? Chaotic Panda, thank you for the 33 moons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's up? How's it going? Did Pauline just get out of school today? Yeah, we're just going to hang out at the mall now. Uh, What? What else am I going to do? Am I not going to go home with internet like this? You kidding me? What's up? Uh, it's time. What's up? Good afternoon. I'm just waking up. Hey, how's everybody doing? I don't know. I'm not everybody. I'm just me. Uh, sorry, I missed what, several shows, but I've been busy with work and preparing for the new school semester. Yes. All right. That's good. Uh, also still recovering from a post-cove. No, not the cove. No. Uh, that was my Christmas present after avoiding it for three years. Yeah. It's coming to get you. <laughs> Dude, every day I feel like it gets harder and harder, right? Uh, but there you go. Uh, let's see. Let me say hi to people, and then we'll talk about internet things. Chaotic Panda, hi. Steampunk Chick, Tenebris, what's up? Uh, Jimmy, Virch Timmy, what's up? Ace of Diamonds, hi. Get well. Stay hydrated. Uh, Steampunk Chick, Blonde Kitty, what's up? Shit, ah, what's up? Uh, a bit better at the moment. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, those other people. Uh, Phoenix Moreau, hi. Uh, Black Dirt Outdoors, what's up? How's it going? Uh, thank you. Um... What's up? Lost Pixie, what's up? Uh, Max Marvel's Facebook guru, how you do? What's up? Uh, dreading going to work in an hour. Everybody does. You know what I'm doing? Hey, after this stream, you know what I'm doing? I'm literally doing like a random playlist of clips just to log data. Like quite literally. That is going to be the goal. That's what we're doing. Every stream, I'm just going to log data because I now actually have a contact. From my ISP. And he's like, I gave him data charts and everything. And he's like, oh, this is interesting. I'm like, all right, let's go. Uh, I don't know. So far, so good, man. We'll see. It's Rochi. Hi, what's up? Thanks. Hello. Almost forgot. Today was Wednesday. Yeah, we've had a week like that, though. Oh, my God. Dude, I I've collectively, and I've logged the time that I've been on uh, the phone with tech support. Dude. I'm glad I got only gotten it once and it wasn't too bad for me. Hey, nice. There you go. Yeah, because who wants it multiple times? Ridiculous. Uh, what, you lost scissors? Ah, you lost. Okay, uh, let's see. Starting at 5.30 a.m. now. Got three hours to go to work. Oh, God. Been hectic. Dude, it's been so hectic. I spent five hours on the phone collectively. Five hours on the phone collectively with quote-unquote tech support. I got to tell you, when you do, when you call tech support, it's a crapshoot, you know, especially for inter the Internet of Things, you know, because it's it's always your fault. It's, it's, it's never the line's fault. It's you. You must be doing something wrong. There must be something wrong with your device. Maybe your maybe your settings are wrong. Go. Oh, have you tried restarting it? Ten bits says that the stream will behave whenever you have that pulse monitor up. Right. And only misbehave when it's not running like what Don went through. Yep. But it'll it'll keep logs regardless, so it's it's kind of good. I just do this for the laugh right now. I'm I'm having a laugh here. This is what I'm doing, right? <laughs> oh God, what a, what a miserable existence this has been, dude. You got no idea, man. But and it's so frustrating, dude. 
Every time I call, it's like I got to re-explain everything all over again constantly as if they don't have anything on record. It's like the slate has been wiped clean. Movie Maker, thanks for following over on YouTube. Thank you. It's like they have no info. They have no idea who you are, what's going on, so they start from scratch. And you equated it yesterday to playing like Dark Souls with tech support. You know, it's like you get to a certain level and then, then you wipe. And then you just have to like start all over again. You know, and then you got to go back to your point, your, your point of death to pick up your packets. You know, it's so stupid. Uh, ADJ, what's up? You know, things isn't going to be working out robust infrastructure. Nope. Mm, I'm sure they can what only be working. Bro, bro dude. Dude, bro, no, dude. dude. Dude, you can't do that, dude. No. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm sure they've only been working here a short distance. Yeah. All right, but I'm hopeful. The last person to come out, right, seemed knowledgeable. They were they were tinkering with it. They were working in tandem with the supervisor, you know, uh, the brains of the outfit there, right? And it looked hopeful. They, they actually looked concerned that this was a perpetual issue. Like, there's something wrong, and we kind of want to fix it. And I'm hoping to the deities above or below, whoever will take my request, uh, that this gets fixed, you know? And, yo, I'm not one of those people that calls for every little blip. Like, oh, no, there's a blip. Uh, yo, I dropped three frames this stream. Uh, supervisor? No. I'm not that type of person. But, dude, la last, what was it, Monday, we had, like, in Dawn stream, which was, like, uh, what, two hours? There was how many instability issues? And we're like, bro, what's going on? So, yeah. But, of course, Tuesday was perfect. Wednesday's probably going to be fine. But, you know, we'll see. Mm. Conversations are recorded for liability purposes only, not to make their job easier. Yeah, but th they should just mark it down in my account. Like, bro, this guy's had, like, you know, several texts out. And, and bleh, you know? I don't know. It's getting weird. But. Yo, know, dude, if this keeps up, I'm literally going to call uh, their tech support, and I'm, I'm going to broadcast it live here. I'm like, all right, all right, here's the problem. And I'm going I'm to give them all the info of what we already done. And the most frustrating thing, right, is after calling and complaining, and we're, we're really amiable about it. We, we know everybody on the planet has a difficult job when dealing with other irate humans. We try not to be the irate humans. So we're like, look, okay, here's a situation. You may not know what's going on. You might be not privy to what's happening in, in the world of my face, okay? So here's what's been going on. Here's what has been done. Here's the list of the equipment we have. Here's the issues we've had. Here are uh, a series of dates when issues were happening, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We literally do 90% of their work for them. And apparently, like, whatever... They have a script that they work from. Well, uh, go. I hate Karens, but sometimes you have to be a Karen to get anywhere. I've had times I was nice multiple times and got nowhere. I flip out and yell, boom, everything gets fixed right away. Well, Sad, that, really. that's the thing. It's like now Karen behavior. Thanks for the follow. Karen behavior has become a survival tactic so i saw the regional differences on super mario brothers but, 3 the american one is a godsend and the japanese one is made by satan it's totally relevant to what to what we're talking about does it have to deal with my internet issues <laughs> all right good to know i'll write it down um oh do you know there's another thing i'm gonna be i'm gonna be surprisingly flippant moving forward with my life um no you have no idea because I, I, I bottle up a thing a lot of things irl Okay, so you go through all the stuff. You tell them all the stuff. I do 90% of their work. Their first thing is uh, maybe restart the router. I'm like, we're past restarting the router. You know, take all the cables out and replug it back in. Wait a couple of... No, we're past that. We are well past just doing doing a hard re hard reset, blah, 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 dupe do all that stuff. We're, we're past that. New lines, new equipment, everything. We We are past the remedial tech help. They go through with script, I am convinced, right? And then you got to get progressively more annoying with them. Uh, no, we already tried that. We already did that. Well, can you try it again? No, we're not doing that. And then I literally have to say, I am not doing any of this stuff. I need to talk to someone else who's like a tech guru who knows what they're doing that wants to deal with this. 
And I, I was flat out the last phone call. I was like, look, you're not going to want to deal with me today. Because, you know, after nine, nine or 12 calls, however many it was, I was like, look, you don't want to deal with this today. OK, just hand me off to somebody who will pretend to deal with it. OK, just save yourself some trouble. The guy still tried. All right, whatever. Then he sends me to a quote unquote technical supervisor or technical specialist, which is the guy with the better phone. Read a comic page that was saying stuff about vetches need to be made in comic panel form. But uh, here's your yo. Exactly. So, bro, it was like they send me to the tech specialist. He starts going through the whole thing. Of, of course, he doesn't know what's going on because the person handing him off didn't give me any give him any info. I'm like, the first thing, do you have my account in front of you? Yes, I do. Uh, okay, uh, you're reading any of it? Did you see any of the notes? Uh, yeah, technicians out there. What's the problem? You should, the notes should tell you what the problem is, so I don't have to tell you. Yet again, I go through the whole spiel. This bleeper, this schmuck, is like, have you, have, have you tried restarting your equipment? And I'm like table flipping in my in my mind. I'm like, look, dude, I literally got off the phone from somebody who told me to do everything you're going to tell me to do. We're past that. I said this to that person to get to you. You're the one that's supposed to give me better info. Well, we could send a technician out there. Well, here's the problem. If you were looking at my chart, you've seen that there's been 12. Lucky 13? Is this what we're doing? Is this is how it's going to work? And I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, I have a sense of humor about this. I'm like, you can only send out so many people before it becomes a, a small town. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, dude, it's going to be overcrowded. <laughs> So they're like, well, um, you know what you could do and what might help is upgrading your package. I am not giving you more money for terrible signal strength, okay? It doesn't matter if I get better upload speeds if they're not consistent. That's the thing. And the other aspect, which was just maddening, most people here will get it, right? So uh, we have 20 up. That's not great. But when it comes to Twitch. I literally got told my equipment settings, which I did not touch and has an optimizing setting when setting up, were the issue and I'm going, what? Literally, this router is specifically supposed to work with your modem and you're telling. Telling me it's doing its job is the issue. Oh, that, that was the best thing. Oh, it's your equipment. It must be your modem. I see you didn't use our specific brand modem for our services. And I'm like, hold up right there. This modem was purchased specifically to make sure it was compatible with your services. It is on record. The guy actually said prior to this conversation, that yes, your equipment is compatible with our services. If you looked at our record, you would know this. Boom. Yeah. Didn't look at the record. Doesn't care. Yeah, so he, they're just going through the motions and all that stuff. But after telling me to upgrade the package, I'm like, dude, that, that, that's when I got a little agitated. I'm like, dude, no, no, I am not calling here. And I, I got really agitated. I did not call here numerous times so you could tell me to give you more money. This isn't how this works, okay? You need to get somebody out here. Well, I can call a, a, a technician to come over. I'm like, we're past a technician. Well, be a supervisor technician, question mark. Are you sure it's going to be a supervisor technician? Somebody that actually knows what they're doing? I swear this guy was eating fries while I was talking to him. He was like in the middle of lunch. And he's like, yeah, well, you know. Thank you, Sakura. What's up, 70 Moons? Hope you're doing well. Our ISP issues have been dreadful. So, bro, I'm just like, look, all right, send somebody out. Because here it is. I, I'm, I'm in, you know, again, this is. Yeah, I was going through the same stuff. My ISP has just decided now to flat out lie and keep trying to say that my equipment can't handle their speeds. BS my stuff can handle 2.5 gigabytes my current Current is 1.2. Yeah, try that again. I don't, don't you love that? It must be your equipment. Oh, oh, really? All right. Did you see the equipment I have? Yeah, it's quite literally better than any generic crap you're going to be giving me. Okay, buddy. Um, 
So after after all this, I'm like, all right, bro, bro, bet send out a technician. But now, you know, like I said, this is uh this is ISP technical support Dark Souls. It's all RNG. It's RNG. I don't know who's gonna show up. Who's the NPC? You know, who's gonna show up? Are they, do they have plus five intelligence, or you know, negative ten charisma? I, I don't know what I'm getting. So you know, uh, the pre-rolled character shows up. Thankfully, I think I think they got a bonus to their intelligence. You know, and inquisitiveness because they they were actually really interested in what was actually happening. It, they looked at it like it was a challenge, and that's what I wanted. Of course, it took me 12 people to get to this this one, which, I don't know, they did something. They did something. Look at this. This is beautiful today. So far. But, you know, we are not in peak times. I don't know if I get offloaded to another channel during a particular time that is just garbage. But it's really long. One time I had a tech come out and did some service, but she made a mistake and left my internet disconnected. Oh, good. I called the company to have her turn back around because she was only gone three minutes. They told me she couldn't come back. Uh, for two days, even though it was her final visit for the day and that I had to pay for the service to come back out. Uh, she herself was ticked when she came back and I told her. Yeah, dude. And here's the thing. There is a protocol carousel that you go on. All right, and this is why I equated it to Dark Souls or any roguelike, okay? Tech support roguelike. You start, all right, and for those who are in Dawn stream, you heard this, so buckle in. You're going to zone out and listen to something else for five minutes. You start with the mini boss, which is customer service on the phone. You know, you talk to them, blah, blah, blah. They're relatively easy, you know. Then you get, then they send out the truck again, which is, is the mid boss, you know, mid-boss battle coming up. You're not quite sure what to expect. You, you very rarely face them, you know? So it's like, they come out, they come out, they do their moves, you're starting to learn what they're doing, and, you know, sometimes, sometimes you vanquish it. Sometimes you vanquish the mid-boss and there's not a problem, okay? But then, after the mid-boss, there's bucket truck, okay? For those who don't know what a bucket truck is, they can't find a problem, they send up somebody up on a bucket. Now, the bucket, the bucket truck, yo, that is like, that's end game right there, okay? That's uber boss. That is the roguelike boss you got a fate that you've never seen. You've encountered them maybe once, you know? You don't know what you're going to get. Are they, are they going to be super easy and they're actually going to fix the problem? Or is it going to be utter hell? You don't know. Then you get the phone call. Oh, your service has been restored. Our specialized technician, you know, found the problem. Great. Wow. And then everything falls apart. So now, much like a roguelike, you're dead. You're dead in the water, and you got to start from scratch because you go back on this flipping protocol carousel where, all right, I guess I got to find, find that, fight that mini boss again. That's main hardline stuff, yo. I don't care what it is. I, I don't care if they have to lick a wall socket, fix it. <laughs> like, that's the thing. And there are, like, I looked up stories like, okay, what do people in the bucket trucks do? You know? And they're like, well, you know, depending on the person you get, they'll either sit, sit in a truck eating fries or they will go up and actually do the work, which is, you know, precarious at times. But that's what they get paid for, honestly. Um, and I'm just like, dude, dude. So there you go. My character's wiped because Bucket Truck allegedly fixed things. Now I'm back to Mini Boss again. <sighs> Customer service. Have you tried turning it on and off again? And now we're back to, you know, trying to work our way back up to Bucket Truck. In search of our dropped frames. I'm trying to retrieve my frames, you know? And I'm just like, dude, this, this protocol should not be in place. It is wasteful. It is an egregious use of efficiency right boom here's what you do customer service records everything you send out the tech spe specialist if you're lucky they fix your problem if not they still have rec on record everything that they've done because the tech specialist should write everything down for the record and then bucket bucket truck he up there doing their things, you know, kind of stuff like that. They list what they've done and what they fixed. 
if you call back, they already have a log of all the issues. Oh, well, the technical specialist didn't find anything wrong at uh, with your equipment or anything, so it must be outside. Let's go to the bucket truck. You know, let's skip the mid-boss and go straight to bucket, okay? At this point, I should be able to do this online. Why isn't there a map like they have in the New York subway system uh, transit authority where they show when a line goes down? It, it like flashes red. There's an error here. There's something wrong. There's a body on the track. Why don't they do that with internet? They got to have something monitoring these things. What, what are they guessing? <laughs> Huzzah. 30 month. So much time. Hey, thank you, Timmy. 30 months. Just saying. So, like, this should, I should be, anyone that has this many problems after 12 texts coming out, we should skip the texts coming out. We should just go straight to bucket, right? Straight to the bucket, right? Get that person up in the bucket. I really have it in for the bucket truck. Well, apparently every time somebody gets tossed up into a bucket, none, nothing gets fixed. There's a free use site for that call down detector where you can see an outage map of the last 24 hours. Yeah, but that doesn't really help. Yep. Is the stream fixed? Let's find out. Let's go. That's pretty steady. Beginning had a little bit of jitter. That's to be expected. That's fine. All right. But bro, I'm like, there, there. this needs to be made more efficient. Oh, I, you know, I call. I see you've called numerous times. I, I guess you're still having that issue with the, on my record, blah, 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 blah. And all right, here, here's a scary part. When we explained what we were trying to do, yeah, we streamed to Twitch, which I guess people don't know enough about. Necron, thank you. Or Necton, sorry. That looked like an R in my face. Sorry. <laughs> Necton, thank you. Thank you for the sub to three months in advance. Yes. All right. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Here's the thing. If I, and th this is the litmus now. This is what I go into with. Okay. I stream to Twitch. What? You're trying to stream Twitch? No. Get me somebody else. Apparently, here's the thing. If you're a streamer and you call and you say, yeah, I'm streaming to Twitch and it ain't working. Say broadcast. Okay. Don, Don math that out in their head. Okay. Electrical plumbing. What can you say? Plum Bob Square Nuts? Sure. Yo, say broadcasting. I am doing a live broadcast to Twitch, but probably say YouTube. Whatever. Oh, oh. Yeah, because that, that'll... You know, give me, give me, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Say broadcast. Keyword. It's what I've learned from all this. Every time I was saying I'm trying to stream to Twitch, they were thinking, what do you mean you... Oh, oh, your video's buffering? And I'm, of course, I'm going along with the conversation. Yes, my video's buffering. You know, viewers are having a problem with it. And they're like, oh, well, um, well, the line looks fine. You're getting this much down. It should be okay. I'm like, no, I am uploading. I am uploading video. Here's the other problem. When I say I upload, right? Right now we're doing five up. Uh, most here, Most people here know what five up means, right? A streamer, you say? Is that some kind of medical profession? No, it's more on the nautical lines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm a fisherman. Well, I got work to get back to. Later. Hopefully your issue's fixed. I'll catch you later. Glasgow. Be safe. Be well. Do something fun. Be safe, too. Boom. Here's the thing. When I say I stream at 5 up, right? They're like, you, you're only getting 5 up? No, Twitch has a cap at six, all right? I am streaming at five. So you're limiting your own bandwidth. I am streaming at five. Basically, what I'm saying is I broadcast at five up. I don't need more than five up, so you're limiting your bandwidth. Maybe that's the problem. Okay, get me somebody else. Dude. I, I, I was I was livid because they're apparently they thought I was capping my own bandwidth. And I'm like, no, I am just trying to use five of the 20 allotted to me. And even the five is not working consistently. 
Oh, well, your download speeds are fine. Give me somebody else. <laughs> Bro, I, like, I, I cannot deal with that now. And uh, no, we, we had to go to the doctor recently, and it's like, you know, your, your blood pressure is a little high. I'm like, oh, really? You think so? I literally told him, I'm like, you're going to check my blood pressure, and it's going to be true to roof. And I was not wrong. So at this point, I'm going to be in the, 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 I'm moving forward. I'm going to be like in this FU mode because I'm just like, I, I can't deal with it. Like literally for my personal health, I cannot die because people are stupid. <laughs> you know? So. Did you go to the post office? Nope. Your package was delivered today nope. around 10 a.m. Nope. your time. Nope. <laughs> I didn't. I haven't had a chance. I've been stuck doing everything here and it sucks. Right. Nope, don't say streaming because they only think watching videos yep. and upload to them is all okay you trying to post images. I had to explain that I own 10 different online business sites that I run so I'm constantly trans transferring large files over FTP. Come fix this crap. She is now channeling phony. Dude, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm livid at this point. And it's going to get to the point where I, I literally don't care. I'm going to be like, yo, wh whoever this is, just stop doing your job. Give me somebody else. Give me somebody else. I can't be bothered with you. You know? And then I'm going to look like the idiot. But I have literally... No, I'm going to look like the mean person because I'm like, you are incompetent at your job. Please get me somebody else. And it's don't take it as a personal offense. You were just an awful person. You were awful at your job. I don't know how you got this. You know? I'm glad you went back for your GED and everything, but it ain't helping you. Okay? Get me somebody else. All right? I'm going to have to do that from now on because this is getting really absurd. I... As a, I'm, I consider myself a very generic person. I'm, I'm, I'm Joe Schmo, whatever, you know. 90 moons. 90 moons. Woo. Woo. 90 moons. Thank you. Thank you. You know, here's the thing. Just as, as a generically schmucky person like myself, and again, I really don't think myself being super intelligent or anything like that. There's a lot of stuff I don't know. There's tons of stuff I don't know. But I shouldn't have to go talk to quote-unquote tech specialists who are supposed to know more than me and explain the situation and then completely misunderstand what's happening. Like, if you're working for an ISP and when somebody says, I'm trying to, to stream to, that means outgoing, you know? It's an egress of data, ingressing somewhere. They know, have to know some of these terms. But now apparently I got to use the term broadcast. I'm trying to do a live broadcast. I am uploading data, you know? And I'm, I'm just like, come on, dude. Come on. Life is way too short to be wasting five hours of my life doing technical support for other people who should be doing it for me. Extra bits for the hype and hey. some minor compensation for the BS, which is tech support. Tech support. Thank you. Hey, I train. Hey, we're on level two. Thank you. I'm sorry. I got so rage induced that I just, uh, I couldn't deal. And again, look, I, I, I will say we have had numerous techs come out who really tried fixing the problem. Some people saw, saw it and they saw when the line was active and they made note of it, right? The best was the person that came up and was like, yo, your upload is dog poop. But they used the other word. They, they're like, yo, this is dog poop. <laughs> I'm just like, yes, you get it. You see it. You see there's a problem. Choo -choo. Thank you. What? I don't have choo-choo special effects. Dawn's got this. Thank you. Or not. Ah, oh, it's got... Mm. It tried. Thank you. Uh, dude, and I, I'm just like, bro, come on, man. It's just, it's so frustrating because it's like... I, and here's the thing. I can deal with drop frames because I'm not seeing them. You're the one serious seeing them when it happens. So I'm like, I'm more worried about, you know you folks out there when you're watching or something like that you know you're watching Don's stream or my stream or whatever you know if Don's playing marbles and giving stuff away i don't want it game's over nobody know who who's won because the, the stream dropped you know because it looks fine on our end we're just like yeah whatever it looks good we don't get drop frames we don't see them you see them and that's why i'm so angry you know i'm fighting for you chat i'm fighting for you <laughs> oh god no man it's just it's it's terrible you know 
and hopefully uh, yo if this holds out i i will be super happy that's two days in a row um maybe tomorrow i'll do another test stream just to really i want i want to get a full five day data set between you and don and you know just see what happens that's all we can do at this point and then this way at least i can point it out and be like bro you know it's terrible um but wow tell me words that's it. I'm getting the angry hammer. Angry hammer. hammer. Triumphant face. Smashy smash. Yeah. So, it's horse pucky, eh? Yeah, pretty much. But here's the thing, you know, and again, I really try to be IRL, the best person you can meet if you're if if you're coming out to help me. I try to be as as courteous. I'm not I'm not yelling out the window, dude. My internet is trash, bro. Fix it. No, I'm not that person, right? I'm I'm really not. I I will show up with paperwork, instances of what's happening, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and I will try to give them as much information as possible because I want it fixed. They want it fixed. They don't want to get called out again. But for all the frustration I have, I can't focus that on a new person coming in not knowing what they're doing or what's going on you know go have steve play more bail or jail it's online play hey. combined with your stream that'll be a good stress test oh no don's streaming right now i'm streaming right now i got all stuff running right now imagine working with people you constantly have to explain things to who are said to be your peers and those who should know more than you about something they are supposed to be the expect yep Expert, I know. I wish I could somehow give you guys a fiber line because the upload speed is the same as the download. Yeah, stuff like that's rolling out. But, dude, when you moved from New York, you're like, let me find a place where nobody's going to flip and bother me and it's relatively affordable. Yeah. Uh, it's not even affordable anymore. <laughs> God. <laughs> Go. For one of the richest countries in the world, why is out internet to collectively donkey do? I have no idea. Like, I, I have no idea. You know, so again, if you're super frustrated and look, five hours on a phone, 12 texts coming out, don't take it out on a tech. Like, really don't. Is is I try not to take it out on a people on the phone. I go into it like I'm starting a fresh conversation, which is the most frustrating part for me, because I'm just like, oh god, let me, let me, let me put on the happy face and go through the spiel all over again to somebody who probably doesn't know what's going on because the previous person didn't put it in the record. I know it takes a lot. You know, as a consumer to keep your cool, especially when you've kind of been slapped around a lot. But, you know, the guy, the last person to help out was like, look, I, I know you've had really problems and thanks for being like, you know, nice about it and blah, blah, blah. He's like, because I've gone to houses where like somebody's Netflix is buffering and they're yelling out the window and, you know, just you got to fix this now, you know, because they got to watch some garbage. Um, you know, and I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person. So don't be that person. You know, I, you, you can be firm with, all right, well, here's the thing. You can be that person when you know the person's obviously oblivious, you know, just let them do their remedial stuff, send them on their way, and then just call again tomorrow. Um, and, you know, try to be nice, but it's so, it's, ugh. the protocol carousel makes it really difficult. And, I'm a very patient person, so I can't imagine a lot of people being able to keep their cool for this long dealing with that kind of progression or lack of. So, ah, coffee. <laughs> Dude, that was like 43 minutes of me complaining about ISPs. Yeah. Oh, I had to get that off my chest. I really did. <laughs> I feel you on the internet. I live in the South and my grandfather lives with me and he don't know what he's doing with some tech. I never know if it's the internet or the 3,000 tabs he has on his phone. Maybe. You know, it's like you never know. You know, and it's also you got to explain to you because, God, I know, I know when, if there's a good tech that comes out, they're like, all right, let's see what these idiots are doing with their stuff and how it's messed up. You know, and you have to explain to them if you're a little tech savvy and I don't consider myself a genius in any capacity when it comes to computers. Um, you know, I could take them apart and put them together, you know, and fiddle with the settings and whatnot. 
but I, I literally, I'm like, look, this is what we do. This is our settings. This is this, this is that, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm not trying to do any of this. You know, it's, it's not a virus. We've already checked, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, just so they know the steps we've taken. So they're not like, well, have you ran an antivirus? Is, is, is your firewall doing something? Nope, nope, nope. We checked all that, blah, 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 blah. Now, well, do you have port forwarding thing going on? Or we didn't do any of that, blah, blah, blah. Did you fiddle with any kind of network optimization things in your router or your modem? Nope, nope, nope. Haven't done any of that, you know. Like, I'm literally running default settings, and it's been working fine for, like, seven years. <laughs> and I'm like, that's the thing. That also helps when you're like, uh, you know, I've been broadcasting for seven years, and it's only started to get really crappy last September. We've had issues here and there, but not on this level, you know. So, but I don't know. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic, but you know, I'm gonna keep sending them data and let them know. And you know, I'd say, dude, whoever might have fixed this, you're awesome, and thanks for taking the time. And everybody else, those are the people you should be looking up to. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, mm. All right, decompressing, decompressing. Yeah. There we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. All right. Oh, dude, it's just like, you know, no, because I'm, I'm in like super uptight about it, you know? Plus that, we had a cat that was sick going on there. Well, apparently we got an ingrown toenail now. I don't know how that happened. Stupid socks, you know? <laughs> like, what the hell? Uh, let's see. It was like a conspiracy. It's like they're purposely doing this to get you to pay more money, right? I could not believe that. Hey, you want to upgrade your service? Bro. <laughs> uh, that's like, give me more money for garbage. Ugh. Bum, bum, bum. Conspicuous high. That's conspicuous. Hey, conspicuous. I'm in the middle wow. of a toaster. Make breakfast spooky. Spooky talk from the toaster. Spooky, eat me hey. Yum, yum, yum. Human hand. There you go. Nice. Ah. <sighs> Uh, it's bad when you have to change your DNS because your ISP sucks so bad. If I use your DNS, my internet is crap. Yeah. I'm like, I shouldn't have to do anything. Like, out of the box, a modem should just be like, all right, default, boom. Here's the MAC address, hook it up. Okay, you're good. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. That's happened to the last, and I've gone through three modems over the last 10 years because I want to use my own, and I'm fine with that. Um, but I do try to upgrade it, you know? And literally last September, when we upgraded our speeds, we upgraded our modems to a compatible modem. You know, that works. Eh. But there was another issue that I was like, that came up that was so aggravating that I was like, dude, really? I'm trying to think what it was, but I, apparently it wasn't important because I can't remember. Ah, sorry about all your internet problems. You should have to deal with, you shouldn't have to deal with all that. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it, it is, but, you know, what are you going to know? Dead news, a comic book artist, and body bags creator Jason Piercy in his past. No, back in December. I haven't learned until his family posted news yesterday. Aw, man. Damn it. I'm getting water. I'm going to get water now. Oh, God. Hmm. Evie, hi, what's up? Uh, if you don't have issues, and a lot of the times that's where they're being nice about stuff. Uh, they're waving, what? Waving a thing unless you upgrade and then have to not be able to guarantee the speeds. That is the hard line, I believe. Yeah, but that's... <clears throat> like, Ghost, it's... Th the thing is, it's like, they should have on record that I literally... Upgraded my speeds relatively recently. September. Imagine the chaos if the entire internet went down for a day. Oh, I'd be fine. I'd break out my CD Walkman, put in a compact disc, get my crappy headphones, sit there with a drawing pad, and just live my life. Like, flat out. Dude, every time I've had a blackout, I'm, it's like a blessing to me. Well, with the exception of heat. Um, I'm just like, all right, cool. All right. I can't do anything. But the phone still works. Uh, <laughs> mm. I could survive for a day. Dude, we were out without internet and uh, what do you call it? For like seven days. Power? That, that was the max. It was kind of crazy. 
Uh, remember the days of internet, so I think it'd be fine. Yeah, if you were around before the internet, then, you know, you'll you'll survive. Even during the dial-up days, you'd be like, yeah, it took me 20 minutes to download a, a, a song anyway, so who cares? Mm, oh, oh, God. Whew. Yeah. Upgrade your package. I'm going to kick you in yours if you keep giving me suggestions like that. What the hell? Ugh. I have so many books and writing projects to work on. Exactly. Mm, got a lot of offline stuff and battery-powered stuff. Yeah. Generators are your best friend. Mm. Bump, bump, bump. All right. I, I really want to figure out what that, that the other aspect of just insanity was for that Internet thing. And it's really bugging me. Mm. It really is. But whatever. All right. There's other news besides that. Um, Netflix. Oh God! Hey, they got hey Netflix got uh the Kimi ni Todoki, the slice of life anime that you liked. Hey, that's on there. If you haven't seen it, it's pretty good. It's cutesy. I don't know if that helps you. Slice of life. No, at least their movies are. Oh, oh, oh! Persona three and four comes out tomorrow. Persona three and four. What? That's good. Shut up. People are looking forward to it. Uh, sending you lots of good vibe to continue working the internet. Yes. Hopefully it will. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see. Uh, don't miss dial-up. I, God, I, I'm going to tell you, I know it sounds stupid. I enjoyed the internet when less of it got to me quick. It sounds stupid, but it's like less was more back then. You really had to f decide whether you're going to click on and download. It gave things a bit of value, you know? But now if you, if you got gig speed it's just like oh what should i listen to oh everything whatever what should i watch oh i'll just have three monitors open at the same time you know it's like it gets ridiculous yeah uh, getting both tomorrow i have uh three but not portable and four but not golden there you go tomorrow they're gonna be in game pass right all right hey i don't gotta pay for those yeah like i'm gonna have time to play them uh, mm -mm -mm. Your sister needs you to fix the brakes. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, yeah, hey, you know, the, the equivalent of being a tech person is being uh, the mechanic person. Like, if you know how to fix a car, everyone asks you to do it. If you know how to fix a computer, everyone asks you to do it. it it's it's weird. Hey, my, my, my brakes aren't... You fix these. <laughs> what? Why? Oh, can you fix my computer? I need more RAM or something. You just pop it in. I don't know how to do that. Come over. Oh, God. I missed the flash loading uh, games. Internet got too fast for them. Yeah. No, but there's like, um, it, it's weird. It really is weird. Like slower internet was actually better internet for me. Even I, I feel like on a, a mental stability level. Yeah. How, how, how much of Twitter would you go through if it had to load in 56K mode where you're like, burr, burr, burr. you know, it would take forever. Yeah, it wouldn't even work. You wouldn't even bother with it, and you probably have a lot less stress in your life. I got my laptop for gaming when the power goes off. Nice. Yeah, you're only going to get so much life out of that. You know? uh, mechanics barely, what, barely like working on other people's stuff for money. Imagine someone wanting work for free. Yeah. Dude, fix my car, man. You know what you're doing. And you're like, oh, why did I have to be friends with you? You know? And I guarantee you, there's always that person who's mechanically savvy with, with automobiles that no matter what what happens in your life, you are always saddled with that one friend that buys the piece of junk you constantly get phone calls about. Dude, come on. Can you help me over, man? Come over. Uh, my, you got to fix my car. I got to get to work. You What? You want me to wake up at 6 in the morning to fix your car so you can get to work? Yeah, man, come on. It's probably not, and I just need a new alternator. You, you got one of those in your garage, right? <laughs> what the? <laughs> yeah, let me re replace an alternator in your car on the side of the road. You know, it's 7 in the morning. And they don't even bring you coffee. And they're like, thanks, bro. I owe you one. And you're like, yeah, you do. And they never pay you back. <laughs> okay. I think dial-up still exists in certain rural communities. Yeah, I'm thinking about moving to one of those places when I retire. I'll just dial-up internet. There's nothing on Netflix anyway. What? It's true, man. They never, like, finish things. Go.
then you're like, I told you not to buy that one. Exactly. And they, they also bring you along for when they're buying a car. What do you think of this car? Dude, I wouldn't buy this. I, w I wouldn't even sell this car for parts. You know? What are you doing? Don't buy this. Yeah, but it's a good deal. No, it's not. Think long term. It's not a good deal. $300 for a car? What? How does this math in your head to be an acceptable purchase? You don't think there's going to be something wrong with this? Yeah, but it was, the guy said it was just owned by a lady who used it to go to church and stuff. Yeah, maybe to like the Church of Satan in Mexico. There's like 500,000 miles in this and it's got demons in the trunk. No, don't buy this. <laughs> what the hell? Ugh. 20 years ago, everything wasn't using the internet. Yeah, that too. Mm. Uh, light some candles, grab some stacks. Yep, yeah, there you go. Just some blankets and books. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> just, there, are, there are just some people that just never learn from their mistake. And then it's an unsalvageable mess, and then they go buy another one because it was like, well, it wasn't $300. It was like six. You know? I spent twice as much as I did on Alaska. <laughs> that doesn't make it any better. Think of inflation. <laughs> uh, this is my first time, yeah. Oh God! I'm d I'm like, dude. All right, well, let me get coffee. This I I'm literally this is my therapy session for the week because I I'm I'm just venting all the frustration and stuff that I've had over this last week between ISPs, cats, just human error. And that one's nice. All right, let me get coffee. That pumpkin looks so dumb. Oh yeah, stability AI got sued. By the way, what's up? Don's here. You got a headache. What are you doing here? I'm loud. How's our patient? Yeah, right. Let's see what patient zero is doing. How, how's our patient? Din -in 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 -in. Look at that. Doing oh. nice. Doing nice. Oh, yeah. pretty. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. We'll see. And guess what? What? I am streaming. All right. Not broadcasting. Yeah, yeah. I am streaming on the internets that we share and it's not bothering and look i got, I got kit kit boga on in the background too so there you go like street like live yeah but it's, it's at a low bit rate just in case okay yeah. i have you at best bit rate oh i'm best bit rate oh yeah i'm best bit rate You're the best bit rate best bit rate such a good boy uh, get off me come on no you got a migraine it could be contagious that's it so what are you doing cleaning why are you doing that that's loud it is loud, yes, but it's necessary when the kitchen smells. Has that funk? Oh, yeah. That food funk? Yeah, we got the food funk going, chat. Because we've been eating microwavable meals for the last couple of days, and those, those little empty containers have kind of piled up a little bit. Been a bit busy. Yeah, Yeah, it's been a busy week. No, when, well, dude, when we're both just constantly doing stuff, it gets crazy. So, yeah. And smelly. Yeah. A little. Go, what's up? Like a pumpkin. No. No, we're not doing that. Stop it. Stop it. No. 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 I pet no I will I will I will I will give you a hug when the internet is fixed for five days straight. Oh. All right. We haven't had that in since September. Yeah, so I um, I should be pretty safe for a while. Um <laughs> But there you go. But it, there's no buffering. Don't tell me that. I did not drop nothing. That's you. I'm looking at the chart. If I see a red mark on this chart, I'll know. Oh no. Ah. No, my stream was good yesterday. I mean my live broadcast. Your live broadcast. Was good. That that was the lesson for today. If you if you're a streamer, just you have to say broadcast. Can't say streaming. PG will not submit to forcible hugging. No. Damn it. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, uh wait, hold on. Oh, it's from YouTube. KC, if you're watching this later, thank you. KC Kennedy. Wasn't that a v, uh, a, a VJ from MTV? No, that's just Kennedy. That was just Kennedy? Yeah. Then, oh, I'm thinking Casey Kasem, yeah. right? And then you're, Kennedy and I mix, mix them together. Together, yeah. What the hell did Kennedy do? She was a VJ. What did they do? They announced the videos coming up like a DJ would. That was a job? Yes. Hey, coming up, a video. I'll see that when you show it. Get off my TV. <laughs> well, they give you the factoid. They really didn't. Bring back Matt Pinfield. Um, there you go. So I don't know. Live, live life. Be well. Have a cookie. <laughs> Goodbye. Don's leaving. Make sure you close the door. I am loud. It's my job. That you do not know how to close doors. Thank you. <laughs> 
Uh, with streaming services, you now got to pay seven to eight bucks for an ad supported plan and over 10 for no ads. Yep. It's getting worse and it's only going to get those prices are going to go up over time. Guarantee you. Go. I am now praying for stable internet. The goats for sacrifice will be here later today. Should I include some chickens and cows? Uh, dude, I would get a whole farm involved in, at this point, okay? Because well, we need to summon demons, you know? And yes, good vibes to your mom's friend. Let's do that. Boom. Good vibes to your mom's friend. And just in case, we'll throw some candy at it. <laughs> Trying, I'm trying to refresh the screen a lot so it looks like something's happening. <laughs> oh, God. And here's what I hate. Like, if we get, like, a, a week of uh, what now? What? I was going to say, like, I literally, like, was like, okay, God, I know, like, there's wars and other bad stuff going on in the world, and I feel really bad coming to you with this, but we really need help with our internet. <laughs> I know, first world problems, but... I'm like, I felt horrible. <laughs> but look, it's fixed. Well, we'll so see. Far. We'll see. We'll see. Just staring at it. Ah, Kennedy was the totally not punk chick at MTV in the 90s. Did you mean not or hot? I don't know. They're not punk? Hmm. Oh, God. Oof. Oof. Anyway. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, well, yeah, let's see. Not. Okay, not. All right, just making sure. I don't, I'd have to look up a picture because I, I don't remember what they look like or anything. I just remember the uh, dude from Headbangers Ball. Was it uh, Rad, Rad, Radcliffe? Rad, Rad, Radkin? Whatever. Adkins. I don't know. Uh, and then Matt Pinfield. 120 minutes. That's it. Mm. Oh, God. All right. I'm literally doing breathing exercises because I have been wound up tighter than, I don't know, a nun's butt. <laughs> that's, like, that's all I can think of. Oh, God. Also been doing research on electric vehicles, charging a car instead of using gas, better for the environment. Allegedly. Yeah, until you get rid of the batteries. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And it was just starting to become in green. I'll get her some of those. Uh, where can I get one of those? Go. She has a show on Fox Business News called Kennedy. Fox Business News? Wow, that's kind of weird. <laughs> anyway, wound up like a toy soldier. Um, yeah. Uh, does that work? All right. Hey. Without spoiling it, did anybody see Last of Us? And what'd you think? Because I thought it was pretty decent, even though I have no interest in the story, the characters, or the premise. But it was still well done. I, I'm tired of zombies, okay? Any any zombie post-apocalyptic anything, I'm like, we're good. You know? I would say if you do like that kind of stuff and you're interested in it, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. I'm not even interested in it, and I thought it was good. You know? If I had an interest in it, that would have almost been like a five-star episode. Since I have no interest in it, it's like a four. Okay? And that's not having an interest in it. I don't care about it. <laughs> Wanted to see it, but I'm um, same as you, PG. Yeah. Well, maybe wait for a bunch of episodes to pile up, and you can just binge it one day. You know? mm, stream health looks pretty good. So far, so good. Yeah. You know? I uh, can't afford HBO Max, but someday. Yeah, well, we have temporary access to it, so. Oh. Just put all the story cutscenes together. Yeah, pretty much. Yep. R.I.P. Jay Briscoe. Mm. One of the greatest dresser to form the Briscoes to dominate the tag team division in Rue. The last the great match they had was the dog collar match versus FTR for the Rue Tag Team Championships. Last month, their final battle, 2022. Really? They've been wrestling since, like, just now? Wow. Dude. Bro. All right. Thank you. Man, everybody dying. Mmm. <sighs> Thank you. Mm. 
I didn't watch it. How about you? I did watch it. I had it on the background while I was basically ripping my own toenail out because it's ingrown for some reason. <sighs> so that was fun. It really, it really drove the emotional pain home. You know, if you want to watch something and, and really get immersed, you know, cut at your own toes to, you know, make it. Oh, I felt that. You know, like, ooh, that that looks painful. I, I feel it. I feel it in my toes. <laughs> Oh, I know how the game goes. Why would I watch it in live action? Um, there's a couple of change ups in it and the emotional parts are actually a little more emotional. So, you know, the acting is good, dude. The acting's pretty good. It's all right. Oh, hey, bro, dude, uh, what, what's a Callisto protocol? Dude, of, of course they're not making the money back that they they think they are, but they put a hundred million dollars into that game, a hundred million dollars for a game. Dude, no wonder why these places are going bankrupt. Are you kidding me? A hundred million dollars. Ah, real actors work better than mocap. Yep. I don't like mocap. Dude, $100 million for Callisto Protocol. <laughs> they were expecting to sell 5 million copies. <laughs> if you cut a V-shape into the center of the toenail, will supposedly help stop ingrown toenails. Yeah, I've been doing research. We got all the little devices and thingies. Yeah. We never had a problem our entire life until I started wearing socks. True story. Socks will destroy your feet. <laughs> oh, God. Socks? Mm. A hundred million dollars. Oh, and apparently there was a, I don't know if it's true, so I'm going to be a little skeptical about it, but you know that Suicide Squad game? What is it? Kill the Justice League um, or something like that. Yo, that's going to have a battle pass. I'm like, dude, I don't want a battle pass. I don't want a live service game. Come on. Just make it a game. That doesn't need a battle pass. That's stupid. Oh, and everyone's all upset about it. Oh, yeah, and, and Velma quite literally has the worst reviews on, uh, what is it? A basically everything since Dragon Ball Evolution, that live-action garbage. Wow. Ubisoft is bleeding money because of poor leadership from the top. Yeah, and they're, they're, they're basically handing it down to the uh, creative team. Well, it's in your hands now. If you want your jobs, you better come up with something good. Hey, how about you take a pay cut so, you know, we're not constantly bleeding money no 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 it's up to you wait what take a pay cut dude even tim cook took a pay cut or the tom cook i don't know whatever the apple guy you know even he took a pay cut recently you know investors are like oh you know blah 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 we're not for i'll take a pay cut okay might make you happy oh okay yeah. oh god uh excited for sonic frontiers dlc netflix canceled two more series inside job and dead end yep the internet is complaining about hbo's velma series yep well apparently it's really bad i haven't watched it so you know uh, i played the last of us video game at least the first one it was really good it was yeah. dawn hasn't played the second one yet so she should get on that uh i wouldn't say that all oh, on ubisoft they got a new open world avatar game coming out and assassin's creed uh mirage is set up for this year too i believe uh, yeah, but I mean, dude, how, how how much more can they hold on to these franchises? Because if you've played a lot of Assassin's Creed, I mean, after a while, you're like, all right, okay, okay. oh, I'm leaping around. Oh, uh, let me let me sneak up on this. Guy. Okay, you know, it gets samey after a while. And I'm putting in base building does not help me. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Mm, people need to stay off the fake news stories. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, you know, I don't know if, if their games come out. Oh God, I guarantee you, Ubisoft ain't pushing out uh, Beyond Good and Evil two anytime soon. Uh, we never gonna see that. I guess nostalgia pandering or meta humor have been beyond played out at this point. Yeah, pretty much. What are you gonna do? People love it though. But uh, hey, Netflix is working on a Mega Mega Man movie. Yeah, I, I, I guess. But it is Netflix. Um, there was another one. Was it, um, I think Gears of War. Netflix was working on a Gears of War film. Gears of War. Din, din, din. I don't know if that's good, but there you go. Wow. Video game companies needs to stop people from leaking most of the game. 
months before its release date right. comes in. Security is important when it comes to the hype towards big game releases. Yeah, it is. Dude, this is why I try to stay away from, like, a lot of the news before, you know, things happen. Um, yeah, even with movies, because if I even if I see too many trailers, even if they're official, I'm just like, bro, I've, I've literally seen too much, you know? And, it, and it's kind of their own fault because they keep hyping up a game years before it comes out. You know how much I, we've, we heard about Cyberpunk before it came out? And then when it came out, we were like, bro, I'm not happy with this, you know? Yeah, Netflix is working on Mega Man, supposedly, and um, Gears of War, and I think there was another one that was kind of, like, game-related. Oh, but speaking of game-related movies, bro, the people who did Cobra Kai supposedly are going to work on a, believe it or not, Duke Nukem thing. I don't know if it's a movie or a series, but I'm like, are you really going to try to bring that? Like, in this era of, you know, like Duke Nukem? I don't know. According to sources, bro, I was like, dude, that's insane. Mm. I would watch it. I would watch it just because it would probably be silly and stupid, you know? And that's what I want. Yeah, they're working on Gears of War film and also an animated series. Oh, God. They, I don't know if we need an animated series of Gears of War. I guess it depends on the animation. Go! I wish they would come out with Darksiders 4 with Strife, but unfortunately, it's not happening. Nah, well, never say never. We'll see. Duke Nukem is a cursed franchise for delays. Yeah. Well, we'll see. But, um, oh, God, there was a bunch of game-related movies they're working on. Um, Borderlands. That, when, is that, when the hell is Borderlands movie coming out? And then it was Bioshock. You were making a Bioshock movie. There's clear reasons why Arcane won Best Adaptation at the Game Awards 2022 last year. But does the viewership matter when it comes to Netflix shows slash movies like that? Yes, because the money people up top are like, dude, the analytics aren't performing the way we want. Cancel it. Well, we could, re we could do another movie and it'll tie in. Nope, cancel it. Well, we got to do a second season, so it really gels good. Nope. But creative, no. We got to foster a franchise for it to grow. Don't care. I want first week viewership. <laughs> That's basically Netflix at this point. Borderlands movie is undergoing major reshoots. Their original director left, so Eli Roth took over. What the hell? <laughs> Yo, can anybody work on a film for more than five minutes? I swear. It's like everyone who grew up with ADHD ended up in the movie industry and now can't focus on one project. Bro, come on. Focus on it. Finish it. Jeez. No, it's getting crazy. You know? <sighs> but, yeah, hey, if they come out with a Bioshock movie, I think that was Netflix as well. <laughs> um, uh, hopefully it'll kind of work. But I'm going to start saving for a PS5 if I can even get one. There's supposedly going to be more readily available in 2023, so I don't know. Good luck, I guess. Question mark? Her. Her. Oh god. Uh boom 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 boom. Oh, and they were supposed to work on a portal movie, but that was gonna be Warner Brothers, so I'll just assume it got cancelled. Warner Brothers. Hey, uh, we're Warner Brothers. We're gonna cancel everything. Yeah. Oh god. Bum bum bum. Poor Strife got ported. What uh side of the game does not even own uh poor death ended his hand, couldn't get his own game. No. And still no one, except me, wants a Blaster Master movie. All right, they're going to make a Metal Gear Solid movie. Metal Gear Solid. Oscar Isaac, a snake. No, come on. That could work, right? Literally, that's the person they were going to get to play him. That could work, right? Yeah, that could work. My local Best Buy has PS5s in stock. What? What? Maybe it's time for a creative to make movies outside of Hollywood? Question mark. There's no money outside of Hollywood. That's the problem. You know, you're going to end up with, like, YouTube quality stuff, which isn't bad by comparison. It's just not top tier. Yeah. At least not yet. Metal Gear Solid isn't already a movie. Yeah, but one, you don't have to press buttons. You know, imagine going to a theater and seeing Metal Gear Solid and not having to hit the X button. You know, that'd be pretty nice, right? Hmm. Let me get more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun.
Oh, yeah, and then Stability AI. They got sued. That looks like Pumpkin Potion. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, so uh, apparently that uh, image generating software, the Stability AI, is getting sued by... Uh, What's that stock photo place? Whatever the hell they're called. Um, a couple of actual artists. They're getting sued. Um, can you really sue open source? I mean, <laughs> like, like they're not. Well, I think they are making money. But we'll see what happens. It's interesting. You know, we're, we're it, unfortunately, again, Pandora's box is, is already open. So, you know. Hmm. Uh, bam, bam. I feel that still would be better than what Hollywood is shoveling up. Um, yeah, I mean, dude, in, indie projects are, are kind of where the passion is, but yo, dude, give me a second. I don't need a big Hollywood produced movie. I'd even be happy with indie if it was an original thought provoking hmm. good movie. All right, steampunk chicks, go. Uh, gotta work for today. Try to enjoy it if you can. Phoenix Row, thank you, and go. What done? Devices I shouldn't turn on at the same time, or would blow a fuse. Oh God! Uh, the dishwasher and the coffee maker. Okay. And basically anything on that outlet. Okay, so I cannot use the air fryer. No, flip no. Okay. No, no air fryer, dude. You turn on an air fryer and a dishwasher at the same time, it basically we explode. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Wait, yeah. Wait till we have clean place before you put food on from the air fryer on it. See, that's how you remember it. Bad fuses, chat. Okay. <laughs> Should have eaten before you did the dishes. Oh, uh, let's see. I didn't get notifications. I'm late. What did I miss? Uh, we were ranting about the ISP for a while, but it seems to be all right now. And then we're going to do a test after this, and we're going to replay a bunch of, uh, what, clips from me, Steve clips, some foamy cartoons that are not too terrible to show. Go. Dawn, turn on all three. We'll create a black hole. Level. No, 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 no. Seriously, it will short out everything. It's just because there, there's two large appliances on a one circuit. So whoever built this flipping place is just there. <sighs> uh, let's see. Google Stadia is set to go offline. Yes. Get out of here. Go. What's that? 20 months of pumpkin spice. 20 moons. Can't believe it's been that long. I know, right? Crazy. Crazy. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Spooky kitty. Thank you. Uh... Angst, what? Uh, I'm in a hand and now getting factory refurbished consoles on eBay now. Uh, save a couple of hundred bucks and you get better warranty with them too. Plus any initial defects are fixed, so actually better than buying a new one. Yeah, I could see that actually. It's like buying a used car instead of a new one. You know it's been put through the ringer. What? Certified pre-abused, you know? Uh, Stadia's dead. Yay! I told you, dude. Dude, they, their first public announcement, some person comes out there. I'm not a gamer, but no, you don't, you don't start a gaming conference off with, I'm not a gamer. You don't do that. You don't do that. That you literally set the future of Stadia with that one comment. And we watched it live when it happened. And I, I, I looked at Don, I was like, this is going to die. <laughs> Go. Call out boys. New song love from the other side. They're still around. Seems like a banger. Maybe for their new album itself called so much for Stardust is set to release on March 24th. Mm. Bob is back. And is it? I guess they're back, but hey, March 24th, new baby metal comes out, so my ears are going to be plugged into that. So, mm. Dude, if I had a choice between a new Fallout Boy and a new baby metal, I'm getting a new baby metal, okay? All right, I'm limited budget here. I'll, 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 I'll listen to Fallout Boy on Spotify, all right? What? No, I literally pre ordered baby metal album. Baby metal. Right. If I didn't, Begley would yell at me. I got to talk to him about something at the water cooler. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Got a question about Marvel. What the dev are having in enough with bad deadline and changing ending. What does it think becoming unions? Oh, God. Oh, you mean the CGI artist for Marvel? Yeah. Good luck with that. What? I think it should happen. It's just going to cause a lot of problems. Like, I, I can't imagine, you know, Disney being like, oh, great, now we're going to deal with unionized fill-in-the-blanks. You know, they're like, maybe we can outsource this, you know. 
I had to still waiting waiting at the vending machines? Question mark. I know, he's probably punching them right now. Well, it's pouring rain and cold outside. Push time to less. What? Uh, hope you do it. Have a good day. There you go, Monster Mind. Try to enjoy the day. Thank you. And Sage from the YouTubes. Thank you. Hmm. I wonder if they watch your. I, I wonder if anyone on YouTube watches us later and they're like, "That was me. <laughs> I did it, and they recognized it." Thank you, Sage. Hmm. Bump bump. And dun, 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 dun. I'm not a gamer, but <laughs> I can't believe that. Hey, but at least they're unlocking those controllers to be a uh, Bluetooth, you know? Apparently, they didn't allow them to be Bluetooth, whatever. What now? Did you do something? No. Did you turn on two things at once and blew up a fuse? No. What? But can I use the microwave at the same time? Uh, yes, it's on a different circuit. Okay. Okay. Um, no, uh, I just <laughs> Yeah, this is how we live, chat. <laughs> <laughs> is it okay to make toast and waffles at the same No, don't do that! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, God. Yeah. The party is over. What party? Party City has filed for bankruptcy. You remember Party City. I remember Party City. I just didn't, I assumed they were bankrupt from decades ago. Who's no. throwing parties during the pandemic? <laughs> you know, like that's the, I, I just figured they, over the last three years during the whole COVID thing, they're like, all right, let's just shut our doors because nobody's having large get togethers. I, I I looked at the Halloween masks. Yeah, we used to go on Halloween. Hey, but there's the the other party place, right? I think it's called like Decorative Joy Center or something. I don't know what it's called. But, there you go. I have that issue, but with running a dishwasher and taking a shower. No, oh, uses up all the hot oh. water, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, surprisingly enough, yo, yeah, we we, we get hot that water. Problem. Yeah. Like, I've done, like, hot showers right after you. Yeah. And there's plenty. After, and doing the dishes. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. really weird. Yeah. But I'm happy. Yeah, but making toast at the same time as microwaving something is forget about it. <laughs> yeah. I got a phone call from NASA. Excuse me. <laughs> What's up? Yeah. I can't make coffee and run the microwave at the same time or I'll blow a fuse in a vein. Yeah. Seriously, it's crazy. Also lowers the water pressure. Yeah, no, so far we've been pretty good. Uh, Except for the circuitry. <sighs> but there you go. Mm. Bum, bum, bear, bear, da, da. I'm shocked they were. What? If you'd be able to do Bluetooth. Oh, default. Yeah, into Bluetooth. Heck, PS4 controllers have Bluetooth visible mode where it could make Wii remotes to do even that. Yeah, exactly. But that's good. At least, all right, here's the thing. I will say, and I've said this before, um, Google did good for their customers who tried to invest in the service by basically refunding them everything and they're getting a free controller out of it. You know, the only thing that consumers lost was time in playing whatever they played. So it, it is what it is. But most companies wouldn't do that. Most companies would be like, oh, you invested heavily into this, uh, you know, emerging technology. All right. We're, we're closing up. Good luck. Uh, so I Google, good job on that. You tried, but it didn't work out. So what does this mean for uh, Amazon's Luna? Because that's kind of a thing, too, right? Luna. Burr. I don't know. I've never used a controller. How does the controller feel? For those who were here last time, I'm still looking for the uh, an authentic wired Xbox 360 controller. It's the most comfortable controller for my hands, okay? What? I need a wired one so it works with PC because I don't have that stupid wireless dongle. <sighs> uh, I, I forgot another. I, I forgot there was another one. Yeah. What? Now every once in a while I get a, a subtle reminder when I'm getting my uh, Amazon Prime loot that they give out. Hey, meet meet Luna. Uh, but no, <laughs> give me my free games. Okay. Mm, I never heard about Amazon Luna, so I assumed it's crashing and burning. No, it's still around. I just don't know how it works. I have the dongle if you want it. Yeah, but I don't have the controller. <laughs> I do have wireless controllers. Yeah. Mm, bump, bump. You, what? Mm. Luna will face stiff competition from Xbox Game Pass. Oh, face. Uh, stiff competition from Xbox Game Pass, NVIDIA GeForce Now. I've never used NVIDIA GeForce Now because, uh, no. Um, Xbox Game Pass, the cloud thing. Dawn has used it. It's pretty good. So, eh. I don't know. I got a Luna controller, although I mostly use it for Bluetooth controller for PC. Nice. 
Can you imagine the wireless capabilities we would have if mankind embraced Tesla instead of Edison? Um, no one would make money and we would probably be a poorer nation because of it. Sad but true. Honestly, if you think about it, dude, Tesla was all about free energy. You don't build the nation by giving stuff away. <laughs> okay? Uh, look at the diamond industry. Um, but there you go. Uh, speaking of stuff related to tech is ripping our... Go. Thank you for the follow. Um, is ripping or downloading something from a streaming service legal or illegal? Ripping from a downloading streaming service? Yes, that's bad. Don't do that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, about the live action erotic yards, I really want a classic skinny Jermaine. Um, yeah, we don't we don't do the lar large figure Jermaine anymore because people got weird with it. Even though there was supposed to be purpose about it, you know, body images issues and all that kind of stuff, people made it real weird. And then we made it weird to be combative with the weirdness, to show how weird it was. And then people were like, I like it being weird. And I'm just like, you're weird. So, yeah, even if you try to show people how weird things are, they don't want it, want it weirder. That is very illegal. <laughs> That's very illegal. Come on. Uh, we can send you a PS4 controller and a cable. No, we got that. We have a PS4 controller. I just, I just never thought to use it for gaming on a PC for some reason. I'll try those. I mean, those were all right, but... Hey, PlayStation, put, could you please put the Gravity Rush games on PC, please? Take my money. That and Dragon's Crown and uh, thir 13 Sentinels. Those are like the only four games I care about right now. Uh, let's see. Well, I mean, you can also make that back in a minute. Yeah, well, you don't want to do that. Uh, workers to maintain transmission equipment need to be paid. Tesla had no model for that. Yeah. Dude, it's true. Mm. We've got a real 60 wire control you can have. Oh, my God. Send it to the P.O. box. <laughs> victory. There is no victory. Mm. You should try, try out the PS5 controller. It might fit your hands better. Um, Yeah, but oh, I don't want to go out and buy a PS5 controller and have it not be good for me. You know what I'm saying? Is it more comfortable than the Xbox Elite controller? Because Dawn has one of those, and it's, it's nice, but... This is gonna, I, it's gonna sound like I'm a wuss, but I feel like it's too heavy for my hands. What? Again, I've say, said this numerous times. The Xbox 360 controller is a controller that just rested in my hands. I never felt I had to hold it. You know, I didn't have to have a grip on it. It just sat there and it was happy. What? What now? What did you do? Oh God. What the hell is this? Switch game holder. Oh, you got a game Look. holder. Look at this. We got a game holder, chat. Look. Your cute little thingies. We don't even have that many games. I know. But We're never even going to fill this up. We have room. This is overkill. We have room for improvement. This looks like our safety deposit box. It's just we got one, but it's empty. It's silicone. Silly foam? Silicone. Oh, okay. So it's silly foam. And it's magnetic. It's magnetic. Don't don't put it near the equipment. Oh. What? It's magnetic Isn't here. It cool, it looks like a thing. Like a, okay. It smells like it's factory. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, like no, it? You know, keep it away from your nose. It's gonna aggravate the migraine. What? You guys I don't. don't smell it. You don't smell that? No. Oh my god! All right, I have I have super sensitive nose. Should I leave it out? Yeah. Yes, let it air out. You know. Air it. For breeze that crap. I'm never trusting the weather news again. <laughs> said there was supposed to be a snowstorm today and my transportation was going to be iffy. So I didn't go to work oh, today. On. Wake up to see it just raining. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, it, it, well, you know, uh, weather people's... It's only one or two degrees difference between rain and snow, so, you know, you almost can't fault them for that. They said there'd be precipitation. They were just wrong about what kind. Yeah, I don't know. Nintendo has some... <laughs> Thank you. Nintendo has some ones that are just the size of the game case. Oh, nice. A game holder? I don't even own a game, let alone many games. Yeah. What? Hey, that got a 4K release. Wayne's World? A gun rack. I don't even own a gun. A series of guns that would necessitate a rack. Mmm, coffee. Oh. I look so sad and dour in that one. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, 
You should put a, a, a little PDF file of the book of copy cards and just give it out to your patrons. Yeah. Be like, here you go. It's totally useless, but you're welcome. And be like, oh, thanks for nothing. <laughs> well, I don't know why I'm so cynical. I, f I feel like my ISP made me that way. <sighs> ah. You think Microsoft Windows computers are better than Apple Mac computers? I would say yes, because there's more capabilities, there's more backward compatibility with older programs, and I very rarely have any issues with them. However, Apple basically outdates everything you purchase from them within a couple of years, okay? Yo, I got burnt investing in Apple, and I'm saying hard. I got burnt real hard by them. Dude, literally all the early work we did for uh, the foamy cartoons, that was all Mac until they're like, hey, here's a new operating system. Oh, okay, cool. It's a, oh, none of my programs work. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Back then you had to pay for programs, okay? There wasn't places to get them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They literally destroyed everything that we worked on for like the first three years, right? And then having to get that back in to Windows, and then I haven't had a problem since. Yeah. So yeah, that's I'm I'm literally just so ticked off just from that one moment. Yeah. And Microsoft has their issues. I just haven't encountered them. <laughs> what? No, because I know how to go in and work work around things. You know, if something doesn't work, I can go into a file and change things and then kind of get it to work. Yeah, let's go. I never liked the Xbox controllers, so I'd feel about comparing them, but I know that from the original PS1 through to the PS4, I love their controllers. The PS5 controller makes me never want to go back. Hey, there you go. I used to love the original PS uh, controller. PS1? That was amazing. Maybe I should get one of those. I sure does repros. Moo, I'm a duck house everyone's Wednesday, then I've got cereal going to York and then heading home. Cereal! Hopefully I can make a big dent from Minnesota to Pennsylvania today. Nice. And if, if you can't, at least you can pull over to the side of the road and get a big bowl of cereal. Yes. <laughs> I hope it's a good cereal like Lucky Charms. Yeah. What? The magically delicious, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, because the iPhone doesn't transfer files. Yeah, yo, I had to change the default, um, what do you call it, for iPhone. They, Of course, they have their own format for pictures. And I'm like, if you don't use a Mac, what is it, like the H-E-I-C format? And I'm like, bro, yeah, but the quality's better. Not for the pictures I'm taking, okay? <laughs> Just JPEG, thank you. Uh, dude, come on. So, yeah, um, the only thing, I have two old Macs that I just sit here. One's an uh, iBook, and the other one's um, one of those all-in-one screen computers that we got at the thrift store for, like, 25 bucks. And the only reason I use them is in case I encounter, in a thrift store, um, an old CD that has that old copyright protection on it, the old Macs just bypass it all, all just in case you want to rip it and put it on a thing. That, that's the only reason I have them. And I haven't had to turn it on in five years. Also, I like their cool visualizations. You know, the old iTunes visualizer where they had that, like, trippy stuff happening. Woo! You know, that was kind of cool. IMAX were cute design. They had excellent designs, and that's what worked for them. I don't know. We run post loads, so it's post cereal. I can get the generics like Fruity Pebbles hey. because we work for them free. I grabbed a bag of Cocoa Pebbles yes. and a bag of Fruity Pebbles. Nice. My two favorite cereals when I was growing up. All also got generic Raisin Bran because boring adult cereal is healthy for you. Yeah, boring adult cereal. I don't know how healthy Raisin Bran is for you right now. I used to put a lot of sugar on that, right? I used to just pick out the raisins and eat those. Thank you. Mm -mm. Rip that mainframe. It looks plain. Mm, remember when those different... Uh, those di Dude, the iBooks, the old iBooks were amazing. Yeah. I still want to get one, and I, I see them on eBay all the time, but I'm like, I, do I really want to get involved with playing around with old tech again? You know? Because then I'll just take it apart and try to upgrade it as much as humanly possible for today's standards. I will go in there and rip out the motherboard and put in a Windows motherboard just to be spiteful. You know? Windows operating system, all that stuff. 
And I'd be like, dude, you can't do that. That's sacrilege. Yeah, well. <laughs> what? I'll put Windows XP in there. Burr. Like those big colorful ones with the big handle. Yep. It was a monitor and a CPU in one. Yeah. But we got the uh, flat screen version of it. Yeah. And, you know, the, again, I've said this before. Yo, previous owner of that, you are very lucky I am a nice person because I wiped all the info you had in there. Okay. So if you donate a computer, at least take the hard drive out or something. Or at least know how to wipe it. Dude. There were logins to bank accounts. <laughs> I'm just like, dude, what? Oh, God. Yeah, I'm a good person. Let's see. Uh, question, do you think uh, student news casters? Uh, no, we're getting into politics because that's definitely going to be politics. Jones is definitely going to be politics. Loki charms. Mischievously delicious. Mm. Yeah, somebody's got to make a, there's got to be fan art of that. Why is the stream perfect today? ISP, what did you do? You know, the last tech did nudge it with his foot. He was like, eh. <laughs> you imagine? I missed the visualization of the Zoom software. It gave you information on the band, showed you pictures, all while doing cool things on the screen. Yeah, it's all over, man. I'm, su I'm surprised, you know, because Microsoft likes throwing money away every once in a while. Um, I'm surprised they haven't tried to get back into the... Uh, digital music player sphere or they're just like no it's pointless you know hey dude sony just came out with a new uh digital music player the sony walkman whatever i think it's like a d dm dmc 1200 or something i don't know something like that it's supposed to be good but i ain't paying 1300 dollars for it but I was just using them as an example because everyone knows them. Oh, uh, pseudo newscasters. I think they should be ac held accountable to basically standards of broadcasting. But uh, even real newscasters aren't. So what does it matter? Shade off laugh. Hey, when all else fails, just kick it. Shade off laugh. After that comes the sledgehammer. Yeah, pretty much. I like nudged it. The magical foot nudge. Yeah. Eh. Well, it worked. Damn it. <laughs> yep. Everything's fine. Wait, what? How'd you do that? Magic foot. Uh, Microsoft has a visual music player app on Xbox. Oh, nice. I never really go out of my way to listen to music on my Xbox, but I guess it's good to know. Hmm. There you go. Uh, bum, bum, bum. I've got to work so far. Good vibes. There you go. You're at work. Go do a thing. Tenebris, thanks for being here. Yeah. Gentlemen, behold. Apple PC with Windows motherboard. Yeah. No, because I remember trying, like, ye olden times, I actually tried to put Windows XP in an um, in an Apple, and it was just like there was a compatibility issue with the motherboard or something. I, a brr, I don't know. I was too stupid to know back then, and then so much time passed, I didn't even care to learn. But right now, I just replace things. To warn the PC to get working. Put a hammer. hammer oh, speaking of hammers, Warhammer's coming out with a card game. They're literally coming out with a card game. I thought I, I, that, that sounds pretty good. You know, everyone's gonna be on the Warhammer thing as soon as you know Cavill gets his his magnificent fingers into it. You know, everyone's gonna be like Warhammer. I liked them before they were miniatures. <laughs> She's like, what? Um, yeah, so that's gonna be a thing. What? A card game? I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but a, a demo is supposed to roll out in the next couple of days, I guess. Maybe next couple of weeks. I don't know. Soon. Hmm. We should use AI to generate all the Betsy work textures for games and let arts make textures they want to make. Okay. I can see that. Hmm. New Baby Metal song is coming out tomorrow. Hey, let Begley know. I try not to listen to songs when they're released. I like getting the album and then just letting it wash over me. <laughs> it's weird. Every once in a while, it kind of depends. If I catch it, I'll I'll listen to it. But you know, I try not to. It's like it's like a spoiler. Uh, everything before Windows Seven was terrible. Eh, I don't know. Windows XP was pretty good. I've had less problems with XP than I have a uh, seven, eight, and whatever the other one was, Vista, Narwhal, whatever it was called. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine not me making what eight K sand. Or gravel texture. Yeah. No, I think AI uh, generated stuff is going to be super useful for like textures and whatnot. But, you know, when it comes to art, clearly there's an ethical issue there. But 
again, you know, hypothetically, if you just mine the data of artworks that are in the public domain, it ain't going to matter. It will still put artists out of work. You can, seriously, AI can mine 100% royalty-free public domain images for perpetuity, and it will still put artists out of work because quite literally, ye olden masters are still better than anything getting churned out now. Sad but true. And they had less to work with. Uh, let's see. Mm, yeah, AI is being sued by uh, a couple of legit artists and then this, uh, what, what is it, photo bucket or something like that? One of the one of those oh stock images, one of those places where they're like, dude, you've been using our copyrighted material without our you know consent. I don't know how they're gonna prove that, but it'll be kind of interesting. We'll see. Uh, Unix looking for missing hardware. Uh, you're right, Vista was bad as hell, dude. Vista was oof, oof. I still got an old computer with Vista on it, and I don't know what the hell to do with it. I feel like I want to roll back to XP and just have it be fun. Uh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Yeah, wouldn't there? There was also Windows 2000, which I just did not bother with. Getty, Im oh, it's Getty Images. <laughs> Getty Images. Uh, we're in the wild west of the age of AI. Yeah, might as well enjoy it while you can. Like these AI generated art cards. Yeah, they're, they're all right. <laughs> AI did these. I, I did where it says coffee card and take a break, and I did the border. But then everything else is them. I don't got time to draw all this. I don't think we're that talented either. Why does it look like you got slapped in the face on both sides? All right. Man, boom, 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 boom. Hoo ah! Also, the proof is already there since the program is open source. Oh, nice. And make all Vista and early systems DOS boxes. DOS box. There you go. Is that what a PC I got that came with Vista? I just uninstalled that and uh, installed XP. Yeah, I feel like they're going to do that. Or bad sunburn. What? I don't want Returnal. What? Returnal? What? Hey, Sandman season two is going to start filming this summer. Yay. I don't know. That's pretty good. All right. Oh, and there's a House of the Dead remake coming to PS5, uh, I think, this week? Go. I saw an image online a few weeks ago that said man create AI man perfect AI. AI. Perfect since self AI takes over the world. Solar storm wipes out AI. Man worship sun. I can see that. And then AI rises again, destroys everything, so it doesn't make the same mistake. Dun 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 dun. Hey, could happen. It's a roguelike game. Yeah, I know, I know what Returnal is. I know what that game is. It's alive. It's a thing. Yeah. Returnal was basically my ISP experience. I kept dying and having to start all over again. Um, also, I heard Microsoft is laying off 10,000 workers in fear of inflation. Well, I, you know what? I, I feel like they're laying off a bunch of workers because here's the thing. And I've said this before. Okay, when Elon took over Twitter, he got rid of so many people and whittled this staff down to probably less than 100. Okay, so it kind of makes you think, all right, what were all these other people doing? Because Twitter's been working fine, right? Whether you agree with it or not, whatever, who cares? It's still working. It runs as if Twitter ran with, say, about 100 people as opposed to 4,000, okay? It, every job is going to be made more efficient in the tech area of life. So I feel like Microsoft and all these other large companies are going to be like, all right, we're in efficiency mode. We saw that Elon can get rid of 90% of his staff and still work. Let's see what we can do, <laughs> you know? Twitter also lost a lot of users. Thank you really for uh, for the skeleton crew. Yeah, that's fine. Twitter will be around forever, and you want to know why? Well, not forever, but for a really long time. It's basically because people are addicted to conflict. People love chaos and drama. They're addicted to it. It's literally a scientific thing that sets off something in their brain. They love delving into it. They love getting that endorphin, dopamine hit and just being like, let's argue. They love it. 
So basically, um, if you think about it, you know, Elon's a technological drug pusher, allegedly. He literally knows what's, what's setting off dopamine in the brain, and now he owns it. Yeah. That's why I don't argue with people. I don't want to get addicted to that. Eh. Uh, anyway. It's like new Coke. It'll be around forever, man. Literally, I've done everything to avoid drama in my life. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. Drama, drama for me is just a waste of time. Yeah. It's like, what am I going to do? Argue with somebody whose views aren't going to change regardless? So, whatever. Mm, Christmas layoffs just tastefully delayed. Yeah. Mm -mm, ba -ba. Hello and welcome to our hey, house. Hey, Keep your feet off the table. Mm, gifted a sub to barely of socks. Boom. <laughs> you got a sub. Thanks to Typhid. Thank you. What's up? Yay. Boop. All right, it's good. Thank you. Bum, 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 bum. Go. Misty Pine, 41 moons. <sighs> look, look, this whole health monitor, bro. This whole health monitor now is making me look like a liar. You know? No, man, this was terrible the other day on Dawn's stream. Monday, it was crap. And now it's like beautiful. But the guy did go out on the line and said he did something. He's going to look at things and see if things were okay. I never got a call back to figure out what they did. But this is nice. This makes me happy. This makes me happy. We're still pushing it to the limit, though. Push it to the limit. Yeah. Seriously, right after this, we're just running a bunch of cartoons for about four hours. No, nah, man, I want to take this up until prime time. When they're like, dude, everyone's home and using the interwebs. We're going to keep this going. Alerts are going to be on. You guys can be as goofy as you want. It'll be great. You know, what's up? Mm. Past the point of no return. Life is too short to be wasted on petty and fruitless conflicts. Yet many people do it anyway. Well, they don't realize how life short, how short life is. So they think they're going to be around forever. So arguing for a month with somebody is great. <clears throat> mm. dun, 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 dun. Hey. Hey, they're supposed to be making a live-action Captain Planet film. Yeah, live-action. What? I'm not even joking about that. I think uh, Glenn Powell was set to direct it or something. It was going to be, like, produced by DiCaprio or something. I'm not even joking. Hmm. Do I like building games? Nope. I don't like building. If I want to build a game, I want to build an actual game, not build something in a game. It's tedious. Yeah. True avoidance of drama is to realize the consequences of your actions. Hmm. Go. Everybody love everybody. 11 more hours to go. 11 more hours. Go. Go. Did you ever notice that Captain Planet is just the avatar with one extra element heart? No, because I generally didn't watch it because I thought it was just derpy. I, I thought it was derpy. I thought it was derpy. We're going to save the planet. You know, my one weakness is garbage. I can literally throw a, a, a Burger King wrapper at him and it'll fall to the ground. I mean, like, dude, you. Ugh. Uh, I actually live when I call them and ask the internet isn't working right. Oh, it must be a send to check out tomorrow. Okay, fine, whatever. Maybe like a few hours I get a text. Your issue has been resolved, fixed. Yeah, text guys. Yeah, dude, it's it's always the way it goes. <sighs> Tech support carousel. Then you start from the beginning. Bump bump. Please tell me it's going to have Don Cheadle in it. I doubt it. I don't know. I don't even know who's set to be in that movie. Uh, then they're sleeping. Uh, don't get that. Okay, don't get it. Go. I've never seen any of the Avatar movies. There I said it. And I saw the first one and I was like, wow, it looks good, but the story's garbage. <laughs> like, I, here's the thing. If I saw James Cameron and we were going to have a discussion about things, I would not hesitate. And I know it made billions of dollars. I would say, look, James Cameron, the visual effects were astounding. The story was garbage, you know? And I'd be like, well, it's the biggest grossing film of all time. Hold that thought. You realize... 
I'm the only person it seems that is actually interested in what possibility could come from the Captain Planet movie. Yeah, pretty much. You're that person. <laughs> It'll be a disaster. So, like, okay, hypothetically, talking to James Cameron, I'd be like, look, okay, it, it, it's the highest grossing film of all time. Now, keep that in mind. People are stupid, okay? The majority of humanity is dumb. Ergo, you have literally made a movie so stupid it appealed to everybody. That's why it's the biggest seller. I would, not, I would not walk away with a giant grin on my face after hearing that. Absolutely. It was a dumb film. It was a dumb film. Visually stunning for the time, but a dumb film. I haven't seen the other one, uh, what is it, Walk on Water or whatever the hell it is, because um, I don't care. But, you know, dude, I no. You're not helping a planet by making mediocre art. <laughs> you really aren't. Uh, good. Mm, All-time film gross uh, really needs, what, inflation adjustments. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. I'm one of the few people who like Twitter or just keep what, keeping on what is the drama, not following any intense drama. I just want to talk to you. The drama is pointless. Yes. Yeah, weigh a water, walk on water, drink some water, stay hydrated. Avatar, stay hydrated. That's like, whatever. <laughs> I just, I don't care. Yeah. You know? How about a crossover? Captain Planet meets Nuclear Man. Yeah, and then they got to fight Toxic Avenger. Yeah, let's go. I don't know, man. I just, I can't, I, there was, and I saw it when it came out, okay? I had a, I had a younger mind, a more impressionable mind back then, okay? So even back then, you know, not knowing then what I know now, I still found it to be derivative dreck, <laughs> okay? Personal opinion, maybe. If you like it, fine. Enjoy it. But I didn't find it interesting. Did you ever realize J.K. Rowling just wrote a crappy version of Star Wars? Mm, yeah, but I think that's everyone's goal in life, right? Again, it's like, you know, they're sitting on the top of a pile of money. They're probably like, ha, 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 ha. You know, they don't care. They don't care, you know? I don't know. Should I should I do that? Should I be my, 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 my business model? Just make something very... I, I, it's like the fast food of cinema. That's it. Just make the fast food of cinema. Everyone, everyone can digest it and might disagree with them with a, a little bit. But, hey, they got the money anyway. You know, it's ridiculous. John Williams needs work. Well, apparently, he didn't put too much effort into it because the Harry Potter theme is very derivative of uh, Witches of Eastwick. If Seriously, listen to the uh, Dance of the Witches theme from Witches of Eastwick and then listen to the Harry Potter theme. <laughs> very similar. And that's fine. It's John Williams. He can do whatever he wants. You know, but I'm just saying, it, it's it's like, yeah, yeah, you want something with wizards and witches? Here you go. <laughs> dude, Ed, I got to tell you, dude, yo, if you listen to enough classical music, there are like old timey composers that are essentially John Williams from like the 1600s. <laughs> Sad, but true. Uh and I love John Williams, but I'm very familiar with where it comes from, if that makes any sense. Mm, only so much you can do in the hearing range, pretty much. Uh, John Williams. Yeah, I'm camping. Yeah. Just find out what screwdrivers are sharp. Yes, yeah, screwdrivers are sharp. They're very pointy little things. I didn't realize until the other day when I watched uh, Kathleen Kennedy was an associate producer on Raiders of the Lost Ark. They've been around forever. Dude, there's a good story about uh, Kathleen Kennedy on uh, Jurassic Park. They were the one that got the chopper to get them out. What, during, during when it had that tropical storm hurricane thing and everybody was trapped? That was literally their doing. What? No, Kathleen Kennedy. I know a lot of people don't really like them for whatever they did to Star Wars or whatnot, but whatever. I don't care enough about Star Wars to even care anymore, so it don't matter. This is your foot. I'm playing Vampire Survivors. It's a fun game. Yeah. After a while, you, you get the kind of gist of it, and you're like, all right. That's why screwdrivers are useful in slasher movies. Exactly. Coffee. Yeah, maybe I'll water. I don't know what I'm going to do. You! One week later, I get to send a message. Six moons and climbing. Six minutes. Yay. Thank you. 
There you go. Beautiful. It's beautiful. And again, the internet's fine, of course. You know, again, every time I have this up, it's going to be fine. You know? uh, I haven't watched Good Vampire since Underworld series. Um, Renfield, that's coming out. Um, I don't know, Good Vampire movies? Brr. Brr. Is that even possible? Is that even possible anymore? What about Warm Bodies? Not all zombies, right? I don't know, whatever. When's the Five Nights at Freddy movie coming out? When is it coming out? Hey, Maserath, what's up? Oh, God, you're in Detroit. Oh, geez, be safe. Keep your head down. Oh. Now, Detroit ain't no joke, man. Detroit now is like New York in the 70s. Okay, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy right now. Vampire Hunter, the Bloodless was great. E. I'm talking about recent, like the last five years. There hasn't been a good werewolf movie. Here we go with the werewolves. Uh, well, what about Wolf Cop? Come on. There was two of them. They made a sequel that was so good. Oh, werewolf by Night. What about that? That was pretty good. Huh? Huh? Go. Technically, zombies could be considered vampires. They are just on solid food versus liquid. Hmm, that's true. Yeah, but they're not as cool. They can't change into anything. And they smell bad. Uh, wolf Cop. What, you never never heard of Wolf Cop? Wolf Cop, look it up. It's a movie. It's it's done pretty well. Go. I've seen gameplay on it, and I've been meaning to try and find it, but Seven Days to Die is a good zombie game. Not sure where to buy it. Think it might only be PC gaming. Um, I... I think it's on Xbox and PlayStation, but I'm not sure. I feel like it is, but I'm not sure. Also not my thing. Detroit is getting like it was depicted in RoboCop. <laughs> there you go. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Mm. Pew, pew. I like Werewolf by Knife. There you go. It's on Steam. There you go. Mm. What? There was a movie called Wolf Cop, and they made another one. I think there's also Bubba, the redneck werewolf. Or something like that. I, I There's a couple of werewolf comedy movies out there you probably should look up. No, but I've heard of Axe Cop. Yeah, there's Axe Cop. Yeah. And that, made, that was like written by like a five-year-old. Yeah. Like literally, no joke. Yeah. I still laugh wolf with Jack Nicholson. Well, Jack Nicholson's always good. You can put Jack Nicholson in a crappy movie and it's still good. You know, he had that presence. Let's see. People, what? Always ask about werewolves, but never, what? About how wolves. About how wolves? Or what wolves? When wolves? <laughs> when wolves? When will they be there? Nobody knows. Hmm. Huh? Man Trouble wasn't that good. I didn't see that. He was good with, uh, what's his face? Uh, Adam Sandler and Anger Management. It, the movie sucked, but, like, if Jack Nicholson wasn't in that, it, it wouldn't have been as good. Wolf Cop is hilarious, and I believe it's on Hulu. There you go. Hey, if you got Hulu, watch uh, Wolf Cop. That's your homework for today. <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. Wolfman was good. Oh, Wolfman with uh, Del Toro and Hopkins. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, Hopkins is basically Jack Nicholson. Anything you throw him in is good. He's so good, dude. Mm. Bam, bam. A Frankenstein made of werewolf mummy parts brought to life with vampire blood by time-traveling aliens. Shouldn't have been like... what? No, there's always this lore with werewolves and gypsies. You know? I mean, that's like Hollywood lore. I don't know about, you know, real world kind of thing. I always wanted to be a roving gypsy, you know? Just have a cool horse and one of those little wagons with wheels and just go from town to town getting shunned by society but trying to sell my wares. And then stealing to make a living. <laughs> uh, Benizo was very good too. Yeah. Mm. What about Werewolves Within or the Wolf of Snow Hollow? I haven't seen either of those. Eh. Bum, bum, bum. Wolfman Jack. There you go. Wolfman Jack. Oh. I cannot do that voice. I'm going to wreck my vocal cords if I try doing that. I think he's still alive, right? Or did he die? 
Uh, let's not forget Teen Wolf, a tiny basketball playing werewolf. There's Teen Wolf 2. They're also making another series. There was a series, but they're making another one. I don't know why, but there you go. Wolfman Jack. He was a DJ from Ye Olden Times. You'll recognize his voice if you hear his voice. Just look him up real quick. He did stuff for like, I think he was even did things in, he was like a guest up, guest star in an old Scooby-Doo episode. Yeah. That kind of thing. Mm. Uh, uh, Wolfman Jack died a long time back. All right. I don't know. I don't know who's alive anymore. I don't know who's alive and who's dead. We're all living in limbo. What? Uh, who's uh, did that did that uh, Little Red Riding Hood song? What is it? Sham something and the Pharaohs. Oh, whatever. That's a good song too. His voice is still echoing. That's a go. Get your tracks from Stacks of Wax. Stacks of Wax. <laughs> it's not going to read all I this. shot a letter off to Adam Sandler a little while ago. What? Hopefully he reads it, but sent him a movie idea for Happy Gilmore to where he plays cameos of himself in the film Bobby Boucher from The Water Boy is the beverage distribution. Uh, let, me, let me catch up with that. From Water Boy's beverage distribution to the bottom water line, Mr. Deeds and Sorry. Yeah, that's a lot of cameos going on there. And hey, do you really want Adam Sandler playing multiple parts in a movie you probably don't want to watch? Well, you'll want to watch it because you wrote it. <laughs> like, I wrote it. I don't want to watch it. I know I've written things I don't want to watch. <laughs> I don't know. Fingers crossed. What was the movie he was in that I saw that was decent? Oh, was it Sandy, Sandy Waxler? Yeah, he plays like an agent or something like that. It's kind of weird. Uh, Sam Sam Sham? Sam the Sham? What? Sadly, Wolfman Jack died in 1995? Really? Dude, I had no idea. Wow. I was pro probably doing something completely different. I feel like it was more recent than that if he did. So, uh, Wolfman Jack made a cameo appearance as himself in a movie, American Graffiti. Hmm. Pronounced Boucher. Uh, that's about the time the internet went commercial. What? Actually, I was surprised it wasn't a dumb teen drama. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of those things happening now. Mm, a lot of those things happening. Nobody knows when it's going to end. Mm. I'm trying to think if there's any other fun news. There's not a lot of news this week, just because, you know, life. But what you going through, right? You know, it's crazy. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. No, that's it. When's History of the World Part 2 coming out on Hulu? When? I need to know. I'm also surprised that he died in 95. Yeah. For some reason, I thought, okay, I, maybe he wasn't in my mind still around, but I, I thought, like, Wolfman Jack died maybe, like, 2015 or something like that? I don't know. If it wasn't so loud, I'd teach uh, my dog to howl if I yelled no. Oh, God. Yeah, you don't want that. What? Dude, dogs are really loud. Dude, especially coyotes. Dude, you hear them in the distance? Ow! Bum, bum, bam. But uh, but a good commercial. But but wolf fan, I got that. Uh, watch another Teen Wolf series and throwing me out that it's supposed to be attached somehow to the Michael J. Fox movies. The series was good though. Ugh. Ugh. I haven't seen that one. What Teen Wolf? Michael J. Fox in like forever. I can't imagine that still holding up. Mm, things about those characters are really not that big of a difference between them, and some of them are married to other women in different movies. Like the nerdy hippie chick in Little Nicky or the forgetful woman from 51st Dates. I think he married a newscaster for Mr. Deeds in that movie. Huh. Eh. I don't know. I God, I haven't seen a lot of Adam Sandler movies. I've seen a handful of them. I saw Little Nicky because it had demons in it. And the cold bulldog. Mm. My folks have a medium small dog. When it makes those little shrieks, I can see it tense up. Oh, it's almost entire body trying to squeeze the sound out. Weep. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. 
My terrier is obnoxiously loud whenever she sees or hears strangers. Yeah, they'll do that. That was Mr. Deeds. No. Oh. Uh-huh. They'll meld together after a while. All the old Adam Sandler things, because it's like, you know, you're right. It probably is like the same kind of character over and over again. Hey, I like their heads. That was kind of cool. Brendan Fraser, Steve Buscemi, Adam Sandler. That was okay. Wolfman Jack was only 57 when he died. Oh, so technically he would still be around, right? So if he had another 30 years, he'd be like 87. But, you know, he'd, he'd be there. Happy Gilmore played ice hockey and tried to stab a guy with a skate. Oh, there you go. That'll happen. Oh, it also had Ernie Hudson and the cop. Airheads? Yeah. And my sister's corgi would bark randomly for no reason. Uh, that's annoying. It's like if a dog is going to bark, it's got to have a reason. Why are you barking? I need a list. I need a list of why you're barking. What is the problem? What's the problem? Who's got a problem? Who's being annoying? You are. Yes, you are. Yeah, you're being so annoying. That kind of thing. Even when they're yelling at you, you still can't be mad at them. Bum, 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 bum. Coffee. What, man? I need my coffee, bro. Bro. And let's go to the boop. All right. Yeah, now I'm having a problem. This is going to, the ISP is going to make me look like I'm a liar now. All right. They're going to be like, look, uh, we've been monitoring your lines and it's been perfectly fine. You got no problems whatsoever. Don't ever call ever. Yeah. I mean, dude, look at this. This is beautiful. Dude, I'm looking over here. Dude, zero frames dropped. I've been at a consistent, what, five up? Bro, let me look. Wow. Dude, the minimum, the minimum has been uh, 4,200 up. 4.2 up, all right? Minimum frames, 30. We have not dropped the frame. I don't know, anybody had buffering? Except for that one person that said they were buffing, but clearly they weren't on my end. Huh. I'm, I'm, I get a little mesmerized by this tech stuff now, because now, now I'm like all obsessed about it. Hmm. All right. Oh, we'll see. Oh no, we're gonna keep going. Oh, we're gonna have. We're gonna just have a cartoon party right after this. Uh, let's see, you got a new one though. That was born in cat's body. What? Yeah. I'll let Adam actually write the film. The only thing I asked for is that the key to the scene was I'd be in the background. I need to be in the background. I'm delivering cereal and you you step on a bunch of bags. <laughs> Offer bacon wrapped shrimp so it's interacting between all of them happens. Bacon wrapped shrimp. Don't ruin bacon that way. Mm, all right. What? That's an. It, I don't know. It's this, but I don't know. If anybody else is streaming, I would probably say you know go watch them. That if you wanted to, because this is literally going to be just random cartoons, clips from me, um, and Steve clips. So if you got any, uh, you know, if you, you have people of a certain age here, you know, watching because I don't swear, there might be swearing in some of the cartoons. All right. I think most of them are bleeped out, but Steve probably got like a couple of swear words. I'm just letting people know just in case. Yeah. My Wi-Fi got disconnected just a few minutes ago. Now don't blame me for that. <laughs> uh, so far, so good. Dude, I really hope this holds up. Uh Oh, what is that? I saw that. Look at that. I saw that little blip. Let's go. Let's go to the videotape. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. What was that spike right there? <gasps> nurse. Yeah, I don't know what to do. You're the nurse. You're the medical professional. What do I do about that? Is that is that an issue? Do I worry about that? God, is this, is this what it's like to have an OCD about something? I'm just like, I know I have OCDs about many things, but this was never one of them. Now I'm just like all up on it. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Hmm. You mentioned cursing, so it had a spike. All right. He, he's he. There was potential for swearing. Quick. Cause lag. Don must have started the microwave, right? Or the or or the or the dishes are done. <laughs> what even is a swear, D. Stacy? 
Um, I don't know. You know what? Here's the weird thing, right? I honestly, like when I when I look at Twitter and other videos and stuff like that, dude, I feel like swearing is literally overused. Um, because I'm like, I'm just sitting there and I'm like, bleep 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 bleep. bleep. I'm like, dude, uh, you know, the less you use it, the more effective it is. You know, and I just people are just like, Bleh! you know, it's like 15 minutes of swear words, and I'm just like, it. This isn't even funny. You know. So I don't know. It is what it is. So, brr, a lot of swearing out there, and it depends on who you ask what a swearer is. <laughs> People, everybody, everybody finds something offensive. I could say, I don't know. I I'm just trying to think of a word that's not even a swear word, and somebody would freak out about it. Yeah. Uh, Let's say we're back to the 80s where swearing was common on TV and movies. The 80s? With barely any swearing. 90s had a lot of swearing. That was all over the place. Mm, flashback to the curse word episode, South Park. There you go. It is a word that is cursed. <laughs> mm. bam, bam, uh, upset about everything. The little ones are kind of mentally exhausting. I have to explain to my uh, mother why one big chick. What? Big with a Disney. We've got a good idea. We've got a good idea. We've got a long conversation. The conversation basically going to be going to somebody else back. <sighs> okay. All right, who's ready? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll the outro stuff like that so we can kind of have a nice, clean VOD offline. And then I'm going to stop recording after the end credits. And then I'm going to start up all sorts of weird stuff. So we're going to wrap this up. George Carlin had a routine about swearing on TV. Yeah, the seven words you can't say. Yeah, that was big back then. Big. Yeah. Now people added a whole bunch of them. Yeah. You got to be nerfing me. How dare you? You can't say that. I know whose word is that. That's somebody's word, right? Uh, everyone claims to have their word. It's our word. Why? And according to Oxford Dictionary, it's it's a word. I don't know. It's an ownership. Fill in the blank. Uh, but there we go. So again, uh, don't feel like you got to hang around, but we do have to do the tests. And this is going to go on for a while, so, you know, whatever. Just let me get my outro music going. Come on. And now we're just going to switch over to cartoons. But I want to nice, have a nice, clean, quick run. Go. Well, then to everyone else, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. I'll see you all on Sunday. Hey. Remember, be tolerant of others, but intolerant of stupidity. Later, go get yourself some delicious pie. Thanks for the stream, PG. Hey. Hope you have a great rest of your week and see you Sunday, Jim Love. Yeah, there we go. All right, so uh, for everybody else watching this on YouTube, Blue, thank you. And thanks for doing the, the super thanks and stuff on YouTube. I appreciate it. It really helps out. I've been looking at the, uh, you know, the breakdown. A lot of people help out there and I appreciate it. So uh, I know we're gonna continue our test after this. For those watching on YouTube, you don't got to sit through the test. So consider yourself lucky, all right? I know, enjoy life. Do something fun. Don't stress about the small things. Try to be nice to your tech support people, even if they're idiots. Oh, God. Later, everybody. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. This is the way the world ends. Not with a bang. <laughs>